All right, final round of the day, and we're finally up against a different deck. It's not the mirror match. Uh, it's going to be Goblins for us, um, which I have not played in this current Popper format. I only played against it years ago when I used to play Popper. I'm sure it's not much different. Um, so, for instance, Seismic Shutter should be quite good. Any other removal is also quite good. So, with a hand like this, I think we have to keep... Yeah, one way to answer something, answer something, find Seismic Shutter. It's actually not not a bad hand, not, a, not at all. He even went to five for us. I think we'll just light that guy up. I suppose I could have waited till his turn that way. He may play a flunkies, or you know, he could just do nothing and then maybe the bolt looks stupid. But at the same time, if that's the case, I think the game just ends. That's kind of why I like to play uh, decks that uh, don't just sputter out if they don't have like an insane draw. Oh, well, I guess maybe he's putting up a fight, I guess. Bushwhacker's a pretty good card in that deck. It might be, like, the card in that deck. Because like, the goal is to put out, like, a couple of threats, a couple of 1-1s, one -ones, ideally. So, like, in turn 3, you could be attacking for, like, 8 damage or something. Maybe more, even. 9, 10. With, with the help of Bushwhacker. And, yes, I have drawn Seismic Shutter this game. Just casually drew it. So... That's going to be what we do, it looks like. Yeah, I'm going to... Uh, I thought this guy... I kind of get these guys mixed up. Okay. He might be so used to playing creatures pre-combat that he's going to do it anyway. And then, then I might get an extra one. Or we could just have that. That's another good reason to save the shutter for the beginning combat step. Yeah, it actually wasn't... Like, him, him leading to 5 was not, like, dead. He actually put up quite a bit of damage. But I had the, uh, the shutter there. And now I don't know why he hasn't conceded. Oh yeah, I didn't mention either that I actually got paired down to a 2-1. So unfortunately, I'll be dream crushing him. Or, you know, maybe fortunately. Depends on uh, what kind of a player you are. Okay, so we've got some single removal, two for one, and then, you know, serrated arrows. Um, echoing truth, no. Don't really want that. In matchups like these, and there's a lot of matchups like these in this format, I uh, usually take out at least one counterspell, especially on the draw. I think I'll just take out two on the draw. Um, sometimes they're actually good. Generally, when you're on the play, um, I usually also take out one teachings, just because it's too slow, but it still finds the shutter and stagger shock and stuff. And then from here, I don't really know what else to do. I suppose in this matchup, I could just go uh, take out all the prohibits. The only card I really care about countering is probably Bushwhacker. Um, I think let's go mono removal.
on the on the play, I think I'll bring back one prohibit if I can find something to cut. And this is one of those matchups where the body on this guy is just uh, really, really helpful. Um, and actually, yeah, I'm on the, I guess, not, not turn one cloud post plan. I don't think I've ever actually chose to do that. Flunkies. This guy's a lot better than Flunkies right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just pass on Preordain for now. It's going to be good later on as well, but this way I get to uh, put the Cloud Post down. I wonder if this deck plays Krenko's Command. Or, I guess it could always have been, have been playing uh, Dragon Fodder, which is the same thing, so... Ouch! That's a good nine damage. How lucky. I guess we could always pretend that we uh, found it off preordain. Uh, those are both pretty good, but this one's a little t a tad slow at the moment. That's not even true, because the board is about to be pretty cleared. And in fact, this one might be the slower one, because between my first copy and Moldrifter, Probably won't need to cast that one anytime soon. And for the map, I already have two glimmer posts. So I'm not about to search for a third one. I'm actually just gonna bottom that too. Just I think like what I want to draw is just more removal. Well, I didn't actually have to beginning combat it, but I had to stop there anyway, so I might as well. Oh, interesting. Uh, that's really interesting. I didn't. I didn't think they played a lot of burn, but I guess the deck is probably like it's like nineteen mountains, maybe eighteen, probably nineteen. Like thirty creatures, and then they want to have a couple burn spells. Thirty creatures. That that's forty nine, right? Yeah, that still leaves room for some burn spells. So I guess they do play a few, maybe thirty four creatures or something, and then the rest burn. Um. They have they do have a lot of room. I guess this one's over. He has one card in hand. Like yeah, yeah. He's basically over. I'm gonna play another glimmer post. And Yeah, I don't see him coming back from this. I think this matchup is actually one of the easiest. Probably. Like other creature matchups, sometimes they have hexproof creatures like the mono green uh, deck. That actually becomes a problem. But this, they just have a bunch of guys that you can just kill. And there are a bunch of X1s that you can shudder. So that puts us a 4-0. Not a bad uh, way to start off the popper format. Um, so I plan on playing a little bit more popper, possibly a few different decks. But right now, I think this is the deck for me. So um, maybe not any videos anytime soon. Um, so that's it. Thanks for watching. And we'll probably return to modern uh, in the near fu future.